up, you guys? I think with a chance here. We're here to movie movie review Shazam. Shazam was directed by David F. Sandberg. This movie is starring Zachary Levi and Asher Angel. And this movie is about a young boy named Billy Batson, who's a foster kid who runs away from foster homes, and he's having a tough time with his life. And um, when he gets a connection from a um, from a wizard who's giving him superpowers, and when he said when he says, I mean when when he turns to an adult superhero, he says Shazam. I f so I feel like this movie was actually one of the best movies I ever watched. Um, I feel like DC Comics is changing because they probably just did really bad on these movies, like like um, Man of since Man of Steel. Man of Steel was not really a good movie for me. I was I was not really upset with Man of Steel. I was um. I was a little bit excited for Man of Steel to come out. When Man of Steel came out in theaters, I was excited. And when I watched the movie, I was like, uh, never mind. Batman vs. Superman, I was highly upset with. And, um, Suicide Squad, I'd probably grow out of that movie for a minute. Because I feel like Suicide Squad wasn't that, all that good right now. But with Wonder Woman and Aquaman and Shazam, they changed it. They changed everything. So I did... So with the movie Wonder Woman and Aquaman and Shazam, they're both great movies because DC Comics wanted to figure out how to change it all, make it look like not make it like like probably make it look more like Marvel because Marvel has been doing a good job all these years since Iron Man. So the director of this, so for those people who have not heard of this cat, this guy named Asher Angel, Asher Angel. Who played on one of my favorite Disney Channel shows, Andy Mack. He play he plays a character named Jonah Beck in the entire show, which is a great Disney Channel series. And Zachary Levi, I know y'all heard of Zachary Levi. Zachary Levi, my first time watching his movies was Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeakquel, and my second time was Tangle. Great movies though. And for Zach, for for now, for Zach with Zachary Levi this time. Zachary Levi has done a very good job playing Shazam. And with Asher Angel, he did a good job playing Billy Batson. Because their performance was 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 great and fantastic and a lot of they put a lot of heart in this movie and a, a lot of humor in this film. The family in this movie has done a good job with their performances and I and I was like, I will give this movie credit and and give this movie a lot of I, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I love this movie. This is one of the best movies I ever watched. And the plot of this movie was perfect. I feel like they put a lot of... So they probably had to figure out how, what to do with the plot. Um, they So they had. So I guess DC Comics wanted to figure out what to do with this movie. And speaking of Shazam, Shazam was name was Captain Marvel. But, but DC Comics wanted to take that name out of, out of it and put it with... Um, Captain Marvel, which is a female character with a Marvel character, and um, just name him Shazam, because I feel like Cap that Cap, because you know Captain Marvel was the name, because you know the name Captain Marvel was taken by a female, and that's why I call him Shazam instead, because he says the word Shazam all the time whenever he turns to a little boy or when he turns into an adult superhero. And this is actually a great movie for me because I feel like the family and Mark Strong and Zachary Levi and Asher Angel did a good job in this movie. And every and all the kids did a good job. The foster children did a great job with their performances. Mark Strong plays Dr. Savannah. He has done great with this movie. Dr. Savannah, Dr. Savannah who, who's, who's played by Mark Strong, was great. I didn't like the supervillain. I don't like his character. I do like... Um, uh, Mark Strong. You know, I, I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen any of his films. I've seen him before, but I don't think I've seen some of his movies. That, that's, it's kind of hard to tell. And there's a lot of comedy and action in this movie, and I love this movie. It's a lot of comedy. I laughed at all the parts. It was so funny. I watched this movie last night on the Fire Stick, and it was really, really, really funny. And if y'all have not seen this, you gotta watch it. It's really, really good, and it's funny, and it's a lot of action in this movie, and that's about it. So, I want to thank DC Comics for changing a lot of, um, I want to thank DC Comics for changing a little bit, you know, just, just make sure 
nothing goes wrong with the movies and all that kind of stuff. But it's it's not it's nobody's fault. It's just that DC Comics just just got a little off a little bit since Man of Steel. It's not really the movie's fault. It's actually DC Comics has owned the film, and um, I feel like they're feel like they want to change everything, which is a good thing, and that's good. And that's all I got to say to this video. So, that's about it. If you those have not seen this movie, y'all got to see it. It's really good and it's really, really funny. So, that's all I got to say to this video, you guys. So, be sure to, um, so be sure to like and subscribe and press the notification button. Follow me on Instagram and comment down below. And I'll see y'all on my next video, um, next week. And thanks for watching.